In this huge new ChatGPT update, you can now create images right inside ChatGPT with the help of DALI 3. You no longer have to practice any complicated image generation prompts or deal with Discord like you had to with Midjourney. Because with simple sentences or descriptions, you can now get ChatGPT to write its own image prompts. In this video, we're covering everything you need to know to get started generating stunning images using ChatGPT and DALI 3. Let's get into it. The first thing I want to note is that the DALI 3 update is rolling out slowly over the month of October to ChatGPT plus users. So that does mean the paid version. Here's how you find it. So log into your ChatGPT and go to the GPT-4 dropdown. And if you have it, you should be able to select the DALI 3 option from the list. So take a look at this. The process is really simple. As an example, generate a logo for a kombucha company called Bloom Kombucha. The logo should be simple and minimalist, but professional. And what it does is it uses Dolly to generate its own image prompts. And then from those prompts, it generates you four different images. This is so much easier than using Stable Diffusion or Midjourney, and it is so much nicer to do this right inside ChatGPT than it is to deal with the chaos of the Discord group that you have to deal with with Midjourney. And unless you spend a lot of time honing your skills in image prompt craft with Midjourney or Stable Diffusion, then out of the box, ChatGPT is probably a lot better than you are to begin with. And you can use this feature to generate images for all sorts of different purposes, such as social media posts, business logos, website designs, book covers, or simply just visualizing characters or scenes from a story you're working on. And the nice thing is that with DALI 3, all of the images you create are yours and you can do whatever you want with those. So you don't have to ask anybody's permission to use them in whatever project you're building and you are able to monetize, sell them, reprint, or what have you. Just make sure you're not infringing on any copyrighted material in your image generations and you should be good to go. So let's see what else it can do. So create a cyberpunk portrait of a woman. And here is what it generated. Now, when I did this yesterday, it was showing me the images and the prompts and today it's not doing that. So you can just go with the follow-up prompt and ask it what prompts did you use for each one? And it's gonna list out the image prompts that it generated for each of the variations. If you wanna download and use any of these images, you just go and click the little download button and you'll notice also once you do that and it downloads, it's gonna include the whole prompt as part of the file name. So it's there as well if you need it. And as another example, generate a hero image for my YouTube channel about AI. These aren't quite what I had in mind and there's some fixes I can see already that I wanna make. So let's talk about tweaking and editing these images that ChatGPT and DALI has output for us. So if you like a particular image, but it's not quite right, there's something wrong with it or you'd like something to be changed, you can ask it to change those specific things for you. So let's say I like image number one up here, but I don't want it to say AI revolution. I want it to just say my name because that's my channel name. So I like image number one, but I want it to say Brie Kerbison instead of AI revolution. And this is what it spit out and it actually got my name right still says AI, but I can go back and forth with it until it gives me exactly what I want. And the nice thing is that it can actually handle text. It isn't completely reliable because you'll notice up here in these other ones, AI revolution is right, but insights here is two I's, Odyssey has way too many Y's and S's, but it is so much better than it used to be where it used to spit out nonsense gobbledygook that really didn't mean anything. But now it has a good chance of actually giving you text that looks good and says what it should. Another thing I could change here is the aspect ratio. So I want this to be long and narrow to go to work as a YouTube banner. Let's see if we can get it to do that. So I wanna use this as my YouTube channel banner and the dimension should be 2560 pixels by 1440 pixels. It can't actually do those dimensions specifically. So it's giving me instructions for how I could do that using editing software like Photoshop or another tool. Okay, so my request was a little too specific, but it can change the aspect ratio in a simpler way. Dali can generate images in three different formats, either square, landscape or portrait. So here are some images I generated earlier when I was playing around with it. They're all square and I've asked it to generate a landscape version of sci-fi girl number two, which is this one here. And this is what it spits out. So you can go back and forth editing your images and you can ask Dali to do all sorts of different things to change your image. So the next thing I did was I asked it to make the girl blonde and to make it in a hyper-realistic style. So that compared to the old image, 
it's amazing what it can do. But if you really wanna take things to the next level, you can take your mid journey style prompts and put them into ChatGPT. Let me show you what I mean. This is more of an advanced mode of generating images. So instead of giving ChatGPT a simple sentence, a simple description to generate prompts on based on that, you're gonna give it the specific prompt directly. So I'm gonna go on over to my personal prompt library and grab a mid journey style prompt that I've used before. So I'm gonna grab that and write it in with this prompt. So generate an image based on this prompt and then paste in that prompt there. And this is what it generates. And the performance is going to depend. So if we compare this to what I have with Mid Journey, sometimes Mid Journey will be better, sometimes Dali will be better, just depending on the style and type of prompt. But both are really, really good at this point. What I like about this style of prompting is that you can get a lot more specific and granular in what you're asking for. So if we look at this prompt, I'm much more specific about what I want to be. So street style, medium full photo shot on a specific camera of a young woman with long red hair and rosy cheeks, walking, wearing a yellow raincoat, blue background mist, misty purple atmosphere, late night London. So this is a lot more specific and it's gonna get me exactly what I'm imagining a lot closer than if I had just put a girl in a yellow raincoat in London at night. So it's really useful to know how to prompt this way if you have any specific visions you want to bring into the world. If you are already a Mid Journey Pro, I'd be curious to hear what your thoughts are on the DALI 3 versus Mid Journey. Here are some comparisons of some of the same prompts given to each model that I have experimented with. And honestly, I think DALI really holds up in a lot of cases and sometimes even outperforms Mid Journey. I'd love to hear what you think, so drop a comment below if you feel strongly either way. But creating this style of prompts is an art in itself, which is why I like to save the ones I really liked in my AI prompt library. Now I've gone and created this for myself inside Notion. And it's just a place for me to keep all of my favorite prompts and have them organized and ready for easy access. I've also turned this into a template so you can grab this for yourself as well. And you can grab that at the link in the description below if you're interested. It makes it really easy to organize and keep everything in one place. So they're there ready and waiting for you whenever you have any prompting to do. But even though Dolly is really easy to use, it does come with a couple extra restrictions that you might not be used to seeing with other AI image generating tools. What you can't generate is violent, adult, or hateful content. Now that's pretty standard across most of the AI models out there. But in addition to that, Dali also has mitigations to decline requests that ask for public figures by name. So if I wanted to generate me a picture of say Barack Obama, it's gonna show me this and not let me do that. Now Dali is also designed to reject requests for artwork designed in the style of a living artist. So unfortunately you won't be able to do that using this tool. Of course, there are other tools that will let you do that if you need to. Even with these restrictions, the Dali 3 update is gonna help you make some really stunning images Images. But ChatGPT on its own is actually really good at turning you from a bad writer into a good one. That is, if you know these smart ways to use it and you avoid a lot of really easy to make beginner mistakes. Watch this video next to learn the 10 prompts that'll help make you a better writer. And I will catch you guys in the next video.